Welcome to Science Tree Channel and today's topic is proteins. And we know that protein is present in eggs, meat, cereals and in our very own DNA. So how can we forget about it? Let's study in detail that what are protein and from where we get the protein. So what are proteins? Protein are highly complicated nitrogenous compounds made up of amino acids. Amino acids are the basic units of protein. Just like a building is made up of bricks. So what will be the basic unit for making a building? That will be a brick. In the same way, proteins can't be constructed without amino acids. Amino acids joins together to give the complicated molecules known as protein. They consists of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen and sulfur. So they are polymers of amino acids. And the word polymers means that many of the amino acids join together to give protein. Now here are some examples in which you can easily see that carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen all are present in amino acid and they join together to give protein. Now the amino acids are linked with each other through peptide linkage. This peptide linkage means a lot. A very important short question MCQ which used to come in exams. That how amino acids join together to give us protein. So that is peptide bond. Formed when two amino acids come close to each other. But how? Listen it carefully. Amino acids having two functional groups. One is amine H2N and the second is carboxylic acid C double bond O O H like this one. Okay. Now what gonna be happened? One of the amino acid will give OH group and the other of the amino acid will give H from amine group. In this way, the water will remove and a new bond is formed between two amino acids which is peptide bond. Now in the next slides, we will gonna discuss in detail that how water will remove and this will be known as hydrolysis. Lysis means breakdown. Hydro Removal of water. All protein yield amino acids upon hydrolysis. Protein has more than 10,000 amino acids. Now, thank God that we can get protein from both resources. Animal protein as well as plant protein. If I talk about animal protein we have in meat okay and if i talk about plant protein we have in cereals so in this way we can get protein by both means now this slide is very important what are the types of protein where we use protein why protein is important so now protein is very important for the body function. Hormonal protein used to control hormones, enzymatic protein, enzymes. Do you know what are enzymes? Enzymes are present in our body and they speed up the reaction. So, these enzymes are made up of protein. Structural protein, defensive protein. Used in defensive protein, in defensing the body, in protecting the body. Storage protein, 
transport protein receptor protein and the last but not the least contractile protein so these are the names of some types of protein so you have to memorize it for your convenience so you can easily understand that why protein is important for us proteins are present in all living organisms they make up bulk of the non bony structure of the animal bodies they are major components of all cells and tissues of animals and about 50% of the dry weight of cell is made up of proteins protein are present in muscles skin hair nails wool and feathers so i think we used to take protein daily in our diet to make our skin hair and nails much more better a very important current information is that uh, in any viral treatment protein is very important like if there is any viral disease occurred we have to use protein in our daily diet like eggs meat cereals so that it will help in building the immune response and later on these proteins are used to repair lung tissue the work highlights the need for careful consideration regarding the use of this protein to treat viruses and no doubt according to these days including coronavirus proteins are made up of amino acids so let's study about amino acids amino acids are organic compounds consisting of both amino and carboxylic groups so this is very interesting a single molecule having two functional groups now the general formula is r ch nh2 c double o h now here is amino group and here is carboxylic group now what is this r representing in amino acids this r is different for different amino acids and how many number of amino acids are present please memorize it 20 amino acids are present like leucine valine glycine and so many other okay essential and non essential amino acids this question is very important so that we can easily understand that which type of amino acids we should to take in our diet and also with the exam point of view now the 10 out of 20 amino acids can be synthesized by human body these amino acids are called non essential amino acids now if our body can synthesize it why it is non essential it is non essential because it's not necessary to take them in our daily diet okay because our body is synthesizing it so it's not necessary it doesn't matter at all that whether we are taking these amino acids daily in our diet or not while the other 10 which cannot be synthesized by our bodies are called essential amino acids these are required by our bodies and must be supplied through diet so these are essential amino acids as we discussed it before as well two amino acids link through peptide linkage and peptide linkage is formed by the elimination of water molecule between the amino group and carboxylic acid group by a group of another amino acid okay means that if we are taking two amino acid one of the amino acid will provide hydrogen from amino group and the other of the amino acid will provide hydroxylic group from the carboxylic group so in this way water will remove and a peptide bond will 
formed so here we can understand it easily this is amino acid 1 and this is amino acid 2 now one of the amino acid is contributing carboxylic acid group and the other of the amino acid is contributing amine group so now the carboxylic acid group will remove hydroxyl and the other amino acid will give hydrogen ion the both will joins together and the water will remove in this way a new linkage is formed which is peptide linkage so now when thousands of amino acids polymerize they form protein thank you so much for more videos keep watching have a great day